Meghan, Duchess of Sussex's charity work is the reason she has endeared herself to scores of the population, a royal expert has claimed. Angela Levin, who wrote the biography Harry, Conversations with the Prince gave an in-depth interview to conservative woman's Kathy Geingel. Miss Levin was asked by Miss Geingel if she agreed Meghan was just a virtue signaler. She rejected that description, praising Meghan for her charity work. She told Miss Geingel, she has been a keen philanthropist since her school days, she used to take toys and clothes to a school where many of the pupils were poor. She has also, among other things, been involved with the international charity One Young World, traveled to Rwanda for the Clean Water Campaign and worked as an advocate for the United Nations on gender equality. Rwanda is still recovering from a brutal genocide and 43% of the country lacks access to improved water sources and waterborne diseases remain a leading cause of death. Meghan visited in 2016 and since 57,500 people have been given access to safe water by World Vision, a charity she is an ambassador for. Miss Levin noted this this took place before she met Prince Harry and added, humanitarianism is a powerful interest they both share. Harry organizes the Invitas Games, allowing injured and wounded military personnel the opportunity to compete in a high-level sports event. Miss Levin concluded, many British people adore Meghan and see her as a breath of fresh air and modernizing influence, which they feel the royal family sorely needs. As reported by The Sun, Meghan gave birth to Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor last month. He is the first mixed royal baby, as he has a black grandmother. Harry and Meghan met in 2016 and married in 2018. The family live in Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. Despite Meghan's charitable work, the Sussex couple have split from the Royal Foundation, a charity set up by Harry's brother Prince William to coordinate their charity work.